Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark Ginn here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we still have a couple more days of tornadoes for today and tomorrow, and some damage and winds, and some hail that's going to be passing through. So, I'm going to do real quickly what you can expect and when you can expect it. Now, yesterday we had over a dozen tornadoes. It did start early in the morning in northern Louisiana, like I was showing you. We also had one in Oklahoma by Noble. It did create some damage, and we had a bunch just ripped through Kansas and Colorado all day yesterday now for today as these storms ramp up you get a lot of daytime heating and you get a good chance as the surface loads are strengthening up for tornadoes to come out for today and it is going to be a quick chance for the spin up it is going as sun's going down then it's going to calm down and go overnight as you get all these storms for texas and southern texas then again for tomorrow you got chances once again for iowa going into illinois chances for tornadoes now you can see this from national weather service for today you do have a chance for hail even significant hail in this black at least two inches in diameter and still could get up to baseball size hail for southern texas and southwestern texas but you still have the damage and wind threat you still have the hail threat for the 30 percent up here in the north central plains so here's your cities and states at risk for the hail and you have your chances for your tornadoes as that winds up and brings that front all the way down towards texas you have a two percent and a five percent here's your cities and states at risk and you can see this from National Weather Service, strong to severe thunderstorms are expected to develop this afternoon across the mid-Missouri Valley, where a few tornadoes, very large hail, and wind damage will be possible. Strong to severe storms are also expected to develop in parts of the southern plains this afternoon, with a potential for very large hail and wind damage. And when you look at your significant tornado perimeters, which factors in dew points, wind shear, you see you get some cells coming around 4 to 5 to 6 o'clock going through Nebraska. Then it starts growing from northern Missouri real strong as you go from northern Missouri into southern Iowa all the way from 6 p.m. all the way to 9 p.m. And then you have the storms over here from northern Mexico and southern Texas. It gets really strong as well. You do get some strong winds aloft down there as those storms go all night long. And then for tomorrow, it sparks right back up for Iowa and Illinois. Not super severe as we have for today, but there is a chance for a tornado as those cells pass through. Now, the storm's going later tonight. You can see with the winds aloft that they are strong for southern Texas all night long and grows even stronger overnight as these cells come through all the way to the early morning hours. And that is right when it starts really getting serious for northern Mexico, southern Texas. Right around 7, 8 o'clock, you get some strong cells, and that does have those winds aloft going all night long for Texas, and it will continue into the early morning hours for tomorrow. Then for tomorrow, it's going to keep going down southern Texas. And so far, HRRR is picking up 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, but as you go later into the night, this is where it really starts to pick up for Texas as this winds up. So from 4 o'clock all evening long, you start getting some 40, 50, and 60 miles per hour wind gusts picking up. And then as you go later in the night, you get those strong cells going towards San Antonio, 50, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. And then as you go early in the morning, you get them storms going through southern Texas by Corpus Christi going into the Gulf, bringing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. You see, it does say 80, but let's just say 60 and 70 miles per hour wind gusts is possible with these storms, definitely 50 and 60 on the low end. And when you look at your Lissy value, it shows you your strong updrafts could be a strong cell. You can see all the way from Nebraska all the way to northern Mexico from 4 o'clock all the way to 8 and 9 o'clock. You get some strong cells moving through also for southern Iowa. And over here from northern Mexico going into Texas as you go overnight into the morning hours, you have a lot of cells passing through a lot of strong cells you actually could see something come out of that for texas so as these storms rip across all night long remember you did have the winds aloft right there damaging winds you do see the bow went out in it all the way into the early morning hours a lot of cells passing through and you can see where your holistic values that it has a lot of updraft with those cells as they pass through and then for tomorrow morning as it goes through southern texas a lot of strong cells passing through. So this does carry into tomorrow morning as you go through your tornado threat, plus those cells that are moving through Iowa into Illinois, your 2% in southern Texas, and your 2% over here in the northern plains, and your 5%. Here's your cities and states at risk for Saturday for tornadoes. And this will continue into Sunday. You have another 5% and a 15% for severe weather. This should be mostly damage and winds and hail. Here's your cities and states at risk. And you can see what your lightning strikes as you go through this evening. You get a lot of lightning strikes 
going all through the south, all the way to southern Texas, even get some across Alabama and southern Georgia right there as it goes through the evening. Then overnight, it just flares up for Texas all the way until tomorrow once again. But you see how your thunderstorms are weaker. So today is going to be the bigger day out of any of these days for the weekend for your severe weather, at least for your lightning strikes for your hail. But you can see over here for Texas that you get a lot of lightning strikes all night long. That's why you have the chance for the large hail up to baseball size overnight, early morning hours, and then for tomorrow. So you have a lot of chances for tonight. Be aware of that. So right as we go into 3 and 4 o'clock, we start getting these cells just moving across from Nebraska going into Iowa. And there's some strong cells with some nasty hail cores. And it does go all even along with some nasty hail cores, even some large hail right there as you go through 10 p.m. for southern Iowa and northern Missouri. And that goes all night long. Then you have what's going on for Texas. This is going on all even along into the overnight hours. A lot of storms are going to start brewing up. So once you go from 5 all the way to 7 o'clock, these storms are going to start brewing up. Then you're going to get these nasty hail cores all the way to 10 o'clock overnight hours. This is going to last a good bit of storms all night long. Overnight, you get chances for hail again as you go into the early morning hours by San Antonio. Then that moves towards Corpus Christi as you go through tomorrow morning with chances for hail with those as well. And then for tomorrow afternoon in Iowa, you start getting these cells popping up, even chances for large hail as you go through 3 and 4 p.m. And then it keeps moving east all even along. Then for tomorrow night around 8 o'clock, you have them going through Illinois all the way until 10 and 11 o'clock. Then it weakens down to just regular storms. But you do have chances for hail in these hail cores as you come across all night long for tomorrow. Especially that one right there, right around 4 o'clock. A little nasty cell that pops up right here in eastern Iowa. So just be aware, Iowa, you do have chances for large hail in these cells as they pass through, especially for tomorrow. Still bringing a lot of flooding just in the next three days from four inches more to San Antonio all the way down. And if you look for the next five days, it starts adding up even more, even over eight inches. National Weather Service has you even more. So you can see this from National Weather Service next two days, next three days, it starts adding up to more heavy rainfall for Southern Texas. Even the next five days and seven days, it keeps adding up to even more, still could get 10 inches of rainfall. So Southern Texas National Weather Service put this out for you. You do have a chance, a little hot spot for 8 to 10 inches of more rainfall coming. Plus all this 6 to 8 going all the way up. Even the 4 to 6, a lot of rainfall. So your total rainfall is 6 to 10 inches west of Highway 281. Total rainfall 2 to 6 inches east of Highway 281 with locally higher amounts. So of course you have a lot of flooding. You have a big marginal for today. You do still have the slight risk for the upper Midwest going through the Dakotas and Nebraska. But over here in the south, you're going to be in a moderate level for a couple of days. You have the slight risk, but you have this moderate level that's going to stick around for a couple of days. So you have this for today, and then for tomorrow, you have another moderate level right here in the south. You're still going to be in a slight risk right here for southern Minnesota, northern Iowa, but you're going to be in a moderate level once again in all the slight risk as well. But a lot of flooding coming towards southern Texas. And then as you go through Sunday, you're going to be in a slight risk. As you go through Monday, you're going to be in a slight risk. Even as you go through Tuesday, you're still going to be in the marginal. So there's a lot of flooding coming towards Texas still. All right, guys, quick and easy. Just letting you know what's going on with severe weather. We did do the worst part of it, in my opinion. We're giving away another one of these solar weather stations. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you put the comment weatherman in the comments below. Connects to weather on the ground. National Weather Service updates your winds every 17 seconds. Even gives you a 12-hour future forecast celebrating 80 years so we're celebrating all year with them giving one away every other day when i come back from sabbath on sunday i will announce the winner and that is it quick in and out don't want to take up too much of your time just want to let you know what is coming so you can see exactly what we have coming today hope you have a very blessed weekend god bless you and your families i will see you on sunday again on mother's day and let you know exactly what the next pattern is that we can look forward to today i want to talk to you with psalm 50 one through six. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth. 
that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. And Selah means think about what you just heard. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. Selah. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you and your families. Happy Friday to every single one of you. I will see you on Sunday again. And thank you so much for your time. I appreciate every single one of you. And remember, <laughs> above all things, all glory does go to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I pray he always keeps you safe, you and your family. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody.